Hello again. I have done the pattern until row 13a. In row 11a, 11b, sorry, you find solid stitches in red. You do them the same way as you did the blue ones. I'm going to do row 13b that has the second set of solid stitches in this reflection in the, on the light bulb. So I'm going to start with front five with the white. I've been looking at earlier videos. I'm sitting next to a water cooler and there is a fly in the house. So apologies for noises. There is water noises in the earlier mail and maybe they show up now again. And I chased the fly out of the house. And I turned the ice making function off because when the ice is ready, they drop on the bucket and make a lot of noise. That's my front five. I think I haven't showed you, it's the same. When doing them from the front, you don't see the loop so well, but you look for it and it's there to anchor the stitch on that double colored stitch. Back three. And now I have two sets on a row, three solid stitches in the front each. I chained one after my DC. First one goes there. Second goes in the chain space. Third goes in the stitch. After one set of DCs, I chain one and I make another one. One. Two. And three. Then I make from three. Interlocking crochet is like a rhythm, front, back, front, back, front, back. However, when you make the solids, do not take it for granted that the next, if it, if it was solids in the front, don't take it for granted that your next set will be in the back. Always check when you make your solids, what comes after. Uh, the typical mistake is if you have uh, something in the front and then it continues in the front, you automatically put it in the back. Having said that, I'm going to mention a little bit about fixing mistakes in a second. Okay. Back one. Anchor it in the back, loop, chain two, see the red, back one, front two, two times.
Now, I made a mistake. The mistake, I wonder if you see it. Do you see that? Do you know why that is? Because, where is it here? After this chain, I, after this DC, I didn't make a chain. So the stitches are two together. I'm going to fix this for you, but first I'm going to try to make another mistake. Um, a stitch in the wrong place. Like if you had a blue line here, or if you were missing one of these blue lines, how to fix it. Because there, there is no need always to frog, unless you really want to, which I doubt it. So I'm going to be making another mistake before the end. And at the very end, I'm going to be making a little video on how to fix small whoopsies. You're all set to go. I'm going to continue and I will meet you at the end of the color where we will be cutting and joining the background color together. Okay, so here we are again. This is my work until row 18a. That is the last row that has colors. 18B is the last row with color changes. So it's this way. Row 18A was done there. And now I'm going to do 18B and cut the colors and keep only one white. I start with back three. There we go. Back three, front six, and cut. Six is a double color. Grab the back loop, six, chain one, leave a tail for sewing in, I should get a bit of scissors, that's gone, front four with red, One, oops, two, three, four, chain one, tail for sewing in, cut, and now I keep the last white. Front three. Remember to grab that extra strand. Double color stitch with extra loop. And that was cutting the colors. It's a lot easier to work now with two skeins of yarn. one more row. I have now done row 19a. It's the blue one here with all those sets of solids. I had 11 solids, chain one and nine solids. I completed 19a and I just started 19b. 19b is going to be all white, all with the same skein, but I'm just going to show you 
not to forget to anchor them properly. I did front two, back one, front six, I have to do back five. And the next color is a double colored stitch. So I anchor it to the side loop. That's back one. Give this a gentle tug, take it away. Two, three, four, and five is another double color. Anchor it on the side loop. Give this white a gentle tug. Move the tail away. Now I have to do front one. Now here with this front one, you can't just go like this and hope to hit the right spot. So you send the hook through and you look for the stitch. Here it is. Now I pull that one forward. It's very easy to grab one of the other stitches if you just go searching for something through that window. So it makes sense to make sure you put it in the right place. That was front one, chain one, back four. Front five. And that is your red light bulb finished now. It's surf through all the way to the end with just two colors, the blue and the white. And I'll meet you uh, almost towards the end so that we can finish this together.